Senator Mesmer, you're on the board. Madam President, I rise to explain my vote. Please do. Madam President, um, so I think most people know I have a two-year-old little girl at home that I absolutely adore. And within the next 24-ish hours, I'll have another one. And very excited about that. And it's entirely possible that my little girls, as they grow up, will have far more athletic ability than their old man. <laughs> am, am I considered old man? I don't know if I'm old. Anyway, than their dad. I was not very athletic growing up. I tried. It was just not, not my forte. But what I want to make sure is that if that's what they want to pursue in life, that I don't have to worry that they're going to be put in a totally unfair situation of having to compete against men. Title IX was a landmark legislation that was specifically intended to make sure we protect the opportunities for women and girls. That was its point. It's what specifically prescribes the whole idea of separating population based on biological sex. Think of how offensive we would consider it to be and have considered it in the past when we segregated people in any other context. We look back on that with horror and rightly so. So if we're going to separate people, there must be a very good reason. I realize people today can express whatever identity they want. More power to them. That's their, their issue. This isn't about that. This treats everybody exactly the same and says, in the interest of fairness and opportunity for our women and girls, we're going to make this very clear. We're not going to allow biological men to compete against women. It doesn't matter what their identity is. All it takes is one such person to displace a woman on the platform, and she no longer has an opportunity for a scholarship or a medal or some other recognition. If we don't think that allowing this to persist, because it's people saying this isn't a problem. By the way, let me... Let me address that for a moment. I find that whole statement interesting. It's not a problem, is what I heard from multiple people. So what I assume is either they think it's perfectly fair, that arrangement, men competing against women, and thus the fact that it's happening is not a problem, or that it's not happening anywhere, even though we can read the news and see that it plainly is. So folks who say that, I, I find that ironic. They either don't care that it's happening or they're okay with the fact that girls are now being displaced. We can see it. Uh, we s this has been a, a subject matter since the Olympics, especially, and most recently with Penn State. We've seen it there. This will continue. There was a remark made earlier that somebody was sad to see this bill. I'm sad to see this bill. It shouldn't be necessary. It should be so obvious. Someone recently said sex is immutable. It absolutely is immutable. But again, this isn't treating anyone, uh, in fact, actually what this is doing is treating everybody exactly the same. It does not matter how you identify. I also want to make another point. We keep saying that, that um, you know, folks who are transgender should have the opportunity to compete in sports. They absolutely should. Absolutely. And I encourage that. And this bill does not stop that. Anybody who wants to participate can participate. It's just going to be clear that it's based on biological sex because otherwise our women and girls are going to get hurt. They're going to lose out on these opportunities that Title IX was specifically designed to protect. Someone also, one of our colleagues also made the point about the economics of this. Well, you know, if we pass this, then folks might not come to our state, you know, and, and, and this is a threat that some have made. 
for what it's worth, seven, eight, nine other states have passed very similar legislation and that has not happened anywhere. And when, for what it's worth, uh, Governor DeSantis was asked a very similar question, you know, aren't you concerned about the economic implications to Florida when they passed this months and months ago? He said, if that's the price of protecting our women and girls, I would do it every day of the week and twice on Sunday. I wanted to, uh, I don't, I couldn't say it any better myself, so I wanted to invoke uh, Governor DeSantis because his words are right. They are prioritizing our women and girls. I, I heard very few talking about that except for in the context of privacy. Senator Peterson rightly addressed the issue of privacy. Read the bill. I realize it's very popular to bring it up. Uh, s somehow this is going to require girls to, you know, expose themselves or whatever. Nothing in the bill requires that. Right now, when you have to get a physical to compete in sports, that's between you and your doctor, and that will, rem that will, maintain, that will still be the case with this bill. So, Madam President, this is very simple for me. And I think if you look, ask the average person out there, they're going to agree. In fact, there was even a transgender individual who spoke on behalf of the bill in committee. And you are seeing that in other places because they are acknowledging biological reality. That's all that this does is acknowledge biological reality. And yet people call that hateful. Where is the acknowledgement that women and girls are, are the victims here? We talked about, someone said this is about uh, human rights. Absolutely it is. The rights of women and girls to compete on a level playing field. Madam President, I vote aye. Thank you, sir.